Good morning. Good morning from St Mary's. No, that is not a green screen behind me. I'm really in the building. And it's really exciting, actually, to be here. I've lit the candles on the altar and I've moved the furniture around so that hopefully you can see part of at least this sacred space. Brilliant, Margaret, Mandy, you can hear me. We did wonder whether the Wi-Fi here would cope, which is why I've been in touch with Margaret this morning via WhatsApp, see if it worked. That worked, so this is working. So this is really encouraging. Excellent, let's see if it holds for the morning. <laughs> Fantastic. I am aware this is slightly wonky though, so we'll Let's see if that helps. There we go. Morning, Barbara. Morning, Nick. So our, oh, pull, pull my props a bit closer. There we go. <laughs> Thank you, Laris. <laughs> it works. Brilliant. Right, this morning we're looking at Psalm 30 and Luke 11, 1 to 10. And we'll take a few moments of quiet and I will lead us through this. It's always good to know that it's shared with everyone. O oh Lord, open our lips and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. The night is past and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O oh God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. So Psalm 30. I will exalt you, O oh Lord, because you have raised me up and have not let my foes triumph over me. O oh Lord my God, I cried out to you, and you have healed me. You brought me up, O oh Lord, from the dead. You restored me to life from among those that go down to the pit. Sing to the Lord, you servants of his, give thanks to his holy name. For his wrath endures but the twinkling of an eye his favour for a lifetime. Heaviness may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. In my prosperity, I said, I shall never be moved. You, Lord, of your goodness have made my hill so strong. Then you hid your face from me and I was utterly dismayed. For to you, O Lord, I cried, to the Lord I made my supplication. What profit is there in my blood if I go down to the pit? Will the dust praise you and declare your faithfulness? Hear, O Lord, and have mercy upon me. O Lord, be my helper. You have turned my mourning into dancing. You have put off my sackcloth and girded me with gladness. Therefore my heart sings to you without ceasing. O oh Lord my God, I will give you thanks forever.
reading this morning from the Gospel, Luke 11, and I'm going to use 1 to 10. This is one of the readings set for Generous June. It's actually the whole chapter, but um, I didn't think the internet would hold out that long. Jesus is teaching on prayer. One day Jesus was praying in a certain place. When he finished, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray, just as John taught his disciples. He said to them, when you pray, say, Father, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we also forgive everyone who sins against us. And lead us not into temptation. Then Jesus said to them, suppose you have a friend and you go to him at midnight and say, friend, lend me three loaves of bread. A friend of mine on a journey has come to me and I have no food to offer him. And suppose the one inside answers, Don't bother me. The door is already locked and my children and I are in bed. I can't get up and give you anything. I tell you, even though he will not get up and give you the bread because of friendship, Yet because of your shameless audacity, he will surely get up and give you as much as you need. So I say to you, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks, receives. The one who seeks, finds and the one who knocks, the door will be opened. And so this morning I'm in a certain place. I am looking at the sunlight reflected through the stained glass windows. I might take a photo later and post it up. Being in a certain place mentally as well as physically can help us to pray but i think we've all been encouraged in the last three months to broaden our understanding of what that certain place might be and much as it is good to be back in St Mary's this morning because we can be for this sort of presentation. Actually what's most important is our hearts and where that certain place is in our hearts when we can recognise um, God's presence and faithfulness with us. I'm reminded in our psalm today that God is always there for us, that in the time the psalms were written, so often it was not God who was silent in people's distress and suffering, as God's people had separated themselves from the love of God and weren't in the right place with him. And that recognising that and not trusting in ourselves, in the certainty of what we think we know, is actually more important. We need to rely 
fully on God and on Jesus Christ. His death and resurrection, as Lois was reminding us yesterday in his talk. So whilst it is good to be back in here, I won't be doing it every time, but probably, internet permitting, on Mondays. And from next Monday, after morning prayer, because we're not allowed to have public services yet, we will have the church unlocked for an hour or so, so that people can, if it's safe for them to do so, come in and pray in this place. Let us pray together now. This is the prayer that goes with Psalm 30. Lord, you hide your face when we trust in ourselves. Strip us of false security and reclothe us in your praise, that we may know you as the one who raises us from death, as you raised your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ the Lord. And so we pray today for that sense of God's presence wherever we are, for holding lightly to particular places or, or times, but rather holding firmly to the cross, holding firmly to God's love revealed to us in the life, death and resurrection of his only Son, our Lord. We pray that as he served the world and offered himself for us, we might offer ourselves, our worship and praise, our care for others, our time, our talents and our money, in Jesus' name, through the power of his Holy Spirit. Today, as we continue to give thanks and pray for those in the caring and teaching professions, asking God to strengthen them in all they do, we pray also for those returning to shops and other services in our communities, for those of us looking forward to using those services and all the strain and stress of getting our heads around how we do that safely. as well as asking you, Lord, to give wisdom to those in authority, to those opening up their shops and workplaces for the first time in months. We pray for ourselves, Lord, that you give us wisdom to know how and where and what are our priorities. And if that is to continue to shield ourselves, to do so joyfully, Lord, knowing that by protecting ourselves now we might serve you more faithfully later, or as faithfully, in a different way. And we thank you, Lord, 
Jesus, that you did indeed teach us to pray. That you gave us those famous words that we pray now. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. O oh God, the strength of all those who put their trust in you, mercifully accept our prayers. And because through the weakness of our mortal nature, we can do no good thing without you. Grant us the help of your grace, that in the keeping of your commandments, we may please you both in will and deed. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. So from where I'm sitting, it looks like the internet has held and you've been able to be there throughout. But we will see, I'm sure your comments and I will, if it worked, um, pop it up as a video later as well. Go well, God bless and stay safe.